to be fair, I'm going to experience your music in a little bit. But yeah, like, and hearing the hearing your show, like the collective takeover, you were speaking about like you used, you like you used to do grime. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, like, what what kind of influenced the change? Um, I think like stagnancy and depression is what took me out of grime and took me into a whole new space. So like I was doing grime for years and then one day I just sort of thought about it and I said, bruv, I'm not going to be a 40 year old grime MC spitting the same bars on the same radio stations. I was like, no, I'm not doing it, bruv. So I went home and I said, if I don't write a new bar, I'm not going back to radio. And I never wrote a new bar, bruv. <laughs> Is it? In all honesty, I just didn't write a new bar. I was just, I think I was a bit depressed at the time and I was just going through some shit in my family and that like, and I was like, oh, fuck that man. Like, yeah, boom, and I stopped doing grime for time. Then I started, I started verging into like a, a wave trappy kind of sound slightly. I made like one tune called Smoke Loud that's out there. I'm sure the man know about Smoke Loud. That's Smoke Loud, rolling in my hands. <laughs> and, then, um, and then I never really dropped nothing after that, innit? And then I linked my brethren, uh, like my brethren Luke, yeah, like long, to, like long term friend from young, like family friend, man's known him from super, super young. Jeez. And then Luke was like, oh yeah, man, my brother makes beats and that. And he just kept fucking telling me over and over. Hey, my brother makes beats, man. I said, bro, we'll shout him then, innit? Let's work, bro. What's going on? Like, you keep telling me about your brother, this, this infamous brother that I keep hearing about, yeah? And then I linked him. And then from there, yeah, man, from there it was just a journey, like a whole new journey, basically, because he was a bedroom producer, an mm. actual bedroom producer that never released any music other than a couple of tunes on SoundCloud. Huh. And he had like a little community that he found on SoundCloud and that. But from 13 to 20, he was just making beats in his bedroom, not sharing it with no one, just archiving it all. Like just a little nutter, like a little creative nutter. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we got Alex W each and every time. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, then I started linking him and then we sort of started making tunes together. Then I started giving him game that I'm finding out and stuff like that. Like, And now he's even got a release date for one of his pr instrumental projects, which is like, massive like for, even for me I think that's massive like and then obviously then um, yeah then obviously we done um, the, like before all of that we done the Peace Love and Gang Shit LP which was like basically we started making bad tunes and I was like well we can make a project with this um, and then I had an idea from when I was depressed I had like a sad EP I was going to do and then make USBs for it and then I, but this project was actually like certy in it mm. maybe not necessarily mix and master wise in hindsight but it was a certy project so I said this is when we're going to do the USBs and then I dropped like um, I bought 500 USBs for a thousand pound and then everyone was going looking at me going you spent a rack on that. And I'm saying, yeah, bruv, because I'm fucking serious. I'm that serious, yeah? Like, I spent my month's wage. I went broke for a month, basically, to get the USBs. Like, I was out here, basically, just dropping USBs to bare different people, like. And yeah, I'm going to do the same thing for the next project, but we're going to do very content oriented USB giving that next time. So we're hitting the online market as well as the real life market, you get? Now we've got Jabs doing a live performance of Oliver from the Peace, Love and Gang Shit album. It's your boy Jabs at JABZZ22 on the gram. KTK Radio, we're inside. We're inside. My boy Chucky P on the wings, you know the vibes. Okay, Davey, you gotta get that muley, man. You're really trying to get them pounds. Gotta try to get that paper. Don't say that you're on smoke. Push come to shove them and turn to vapor. What goes up must come down. Life coming like elevators. I told them good vibes only. Cut off pagers and haters I was in my shirt and tie Them times blazing loud in my blazer Point seven on the Benzes If I did that now boy I'd be at Baders But now my aims are on playlists Linking the rich and famous People so I can use their knowledge to help me get that money Cause I'm really trying to get them pounds Gotta try to get this dollar up Bit by bit, but now I want more like Oliver I ain't ruled by no man Me I run free like Stora does Soon come with them giants Right now we're small like the borrowers Really tryna get them pounds Gotta try and get this dollar up The universe passed me bit by bit But now I want more like Oliver I ain't ruled by no man Me I run free like Stora does Soon come with them giants Right now we're small like the borrowers Can't be rolling them buds When I gotta try and get them dollars Bun chilling with tugs, I link up with musical scholars. I roll through the ends of my head held high, I walk with a pride and honor. The man them say I look Turkish, talk grease get wrapped like Donna, talk grease get grilled like shish, go with the flow like fish. On the road to success, but walking down this road is a mish. If man try to diss, I get intimate with my ops. Give them the Glasgow kiss, but let's not get distracted, car. We're really trying to get them pounds. Gotta try and get this 
Turn her up, the universe bust me bit by bit Now I want more like Oliver I ain't ruled by no man Me I run free like Stora does Soon come with me them giants Right now I'm small like the borrowers Really trying to get them pounds Gotta try and get this dollar up The universe bust me bit by bit But now I want more like Oliver I ain't ruled by no man Me I run free like Stora does Soon come with me them giants Right now I'm small like the borrowers Hey, big up Alex W on production each and every time yeah, so tell us a bit about how you know about the tracks and type community. So, um, Jesus, basically, <laughs> yeah, like I didn't know of them them times. Basically, years ago, Stormzy put a post up and said, "Listen, I'm doing Wicked Skangman Four. Everyone, pull up. We got you got three hours or whatever it was." Yeah, I rung my bridge and I was like, "Yo, mix." I said, "Bro, we have to roll to this fam. It's Stormzy, bro." I said, "Let's roll." Rolled there, and then they ended up being a cipher that if you watch back is very poor because the, the beat was off beat and that, yeah. So everyone was off beat. But there was people like me, Mickey, Cro um, Dave was in it, Santan Dave was in it, um, Crafty and a few others, like, yeah, man. And bruv, that's actually, and that's where I met Little Trubs. But I didn't even like meet him, meet him like that, but we was in the same space on the same sofa. And then years later, I heard about Tracks on Tap, possibly through Paradox, I'm not 100% sure, but I just, I just, I, I'm, I'm forever like scrolling for different opportunities and shit on socials. And then obviously I come across Tracks on Tap and then obviously then I say, I was like, oh my days, Paradox, I know that brother from Graham and that. Mm. And then, um, yeah, I was just following their thing. And then it was only when I went to one of their events that Little Traps was like, oh, I know you, we was in a cypher together, we was in a Wicked Skangman cypher. Huh. And I was like, what the? I was thinking, no way he knows me from there. And then I talked to him a little bit more and he was like, yeah, I was in the cypher as well. And I said, no way we was in the same cypher. And then we met all now, like proper full circle moment, man. But that's how I properly met Little Trubs was at his event, um, Tracks on Tap. And I've just been tapped in ever since, man. So like, any time I can go, I do go basically to yeah. all of their events and try to support on that, man. God, they're proper amazing community what they've built there, man. Hey, fully. And... um. Another another community member in Tracks on Tap is Sense, and and that was that was a big event. Like I saw quite a few names on it, mm. and one of them was yours. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. So, how, yeah, how did how did that happen? Um, the Sense headline show, well, like like my performance at Sense's show was through, um, so kind of through Tracks on Tap, but more through Mariana and uh, um, the U, um, the U Press crew basically and the collective. So Sense was in the collective, maybe. It's three cohorts before me and I don't know don't quote me on how many cohorts we were but um yeah that's where I've that's where I linked um sense um actually no no I linked sense at tracks on tap and then found out through Mariana and that that he was in the collective and then that's how man um yeah, that's okay. how I got to know Sense. And then obviously, then he was hollering, hollering me and he was like, Jams, bruv. He said, listen, I've got this sh headline show coming up and obviously I want to put you on as part of like the U Press sort of crew, basically. Huh. And then I was like, yeah, 100, man. And then, yeah, it was a shame though, bruv, because I had some shit to do that day. So I had to leave like, art, like shortly after my performance. So I didn't even get to see his performance. And yeah, man, I, I, I let him know. I let him know that I was sorry for that though, man, car. Yeah, man, but I had to, I, I had to, I had to cut basically. Otherwise I would have definitely had to sit around and watch his thing. Car. I know, yeah, man, Sense is an amazing performer as well man they got sense each and every time I'd be glad for the opportunity you get um, uh, in December it's going to be the very last show basically so we're going to get all of the collective members that were on like that on my like my cohort basically mm -hmm. we're all going to come in catch a vibe um, hopefully maybe do like a little cypher or something like that commemorate the whole year of the radio show and yeah man the collective and you press and all that good stuff man Hey. Yeah, big up K2K, big up Rag uh, Ragazulu Nation. Each and every time. Big up um, Farah, each and every time. Hey, my boy. press got a big up U-Press. U-Press press gang, each and every time. Um, yeah, any, art art uh, 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 any artists interested in development, uh, there's a program uh, run by U-Press called The Collective. It's run by some great people, and we wouldn't be able to have this opportunity here without, without that. Them. So, fuck. yeah, man, always got to be grateful. Because, uh, yeah, just, you know, yeah, like, man, yeah. Nah, seriously, man, they taught us a lot, man. Like, and for the fact that like, the man got it for free as well, that's something a man should have paid for. You know, mm. the ones there, like, it was that lit. Like, so, yeah, big up Mariana and big up Raggo Zulu Rebel, man. They proper poured their heart and soul into that shit, man. So, Holy. big them up each and every time, man. Hey, I was, uh, I'm, I'm not going to say too much, but um, something, something wavy, something wavy is coming soon. But, um, yeah, check out the. Um, rznrecords.co.uk that's the new website yeah and yeah peace and love hey, that's just straight round of applause that's Thank just you, straight man. round of applause yeah you actually have a message with your music and, and the way you were speaking earlier you are conscious like so thank you man yeah